You're still watching ways now. Do the names Elias Howe or Isaac Singer means anything to you? If you've ever taken a home economics course or even worn clothes for that matter, they should. Those two gentlemen are credited with the invention of the modern sewing machine. While the wheel, telephone, and personal computer get a lot of the glory for changing how humans live, the sewing machine is, however, of um, an unsung is somewhat of an unsung hero. Without it, however, we should be squinting to thread needles and stitching together our shirts and suits by hand. Whether you want a simple set of curtains to block out the bright sun or just unsatisfied by shopping off the rack, sewing machines are a handy appliance that deserves accolade. So dream up some custom couture and celebrate National Machi Sewing Machine Day this June 13. 13. Yes, I absolutely <laughs> agree that that uh, singer, thank you. He made mm -hmm. our life easier. Ah. Imagine how we have, have you ever tried fixing a cloth with just needle and thread? Mm -hmm. It is the ultimate worst. Horrific. But how many of us truly have sewing machines in our homes? I was going we, to we've go gone there. lazy. Plus and minus. Let's look at no, it. There is the, have uh, you ever tried to use a one. sewing machine? Oh, yes, I did. Oh, I have. The, my man, mom, the manual my mom one, yes. Had, so, mm. my mom has, she's done, I love you, mommy, but you've done a lot of businesses. <laughs> <laughs> so, my mom had loads of, there was a time she was crazy about owning, like, a fashion. <laughs> oh, my God, those tailors messed her up a big time. So, she invested so much money mm -hmm. and bought she, a, a room full of about maybe 25, you know. She wow. had the the machine ones, then she had the manual ones where you pedal yeah. with your legs. Exactly. You know, so I, I, I tried a couple, but, you know, it's uh, not my thing. <laughs> it's, I and, tried it as well, and I crashed. <laughs> it, it's Thank actually very, goodness. like, when, after I tried it for the first time, I had a newfound respect for tailors, especially Absolutely. the ones that use the, the manual. manual. Yeah. Because, like, the I pedal. felt muzzle pull. Like, mm. I, I, was, I was just, my legs were just tired. And mm. I just tried to do it for, like, an hour. Mm. That was when I had a certain passion for learning how to make dresses. And a week the later, died. the passion, the passion <laughs> died. Oh, so, yeah, it's good it to happens. celebrate. Yeah. Um, so it's a wonderful discovery that just makes life easy, easy. for Absolutely. all of us. And will forever remain relevant because we wear clothes every, every day. day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So, thank you so much to <laughs> Elias Howe oh, and, and Isaac, Isaac Singer. Singer. All right, so Sanzi, you're going to start with us today because um, your story is quite a... I mean, my heart breaks every time uh, <laughs> I remember that story you want to take. So what did you find first in the news? Okay, so I saw in the news uh, uh, from The Nation um, a story about this man. His name is Peter Ayemoba. I'm sorry if I... Forgive me if I um, uh, mispronounced the name. Mm -hmm. So the interesting... What interested me in the story is, as we know, there is this public uh, protest worldwide uh, protests against rape and all that. So this is another man who has been sleeping with his two daughters for seven years since 2013 after he lost his wife. And according to him, his reason is that um, his daughters makes him not miss his wife so much. So after his wife died, he was trying to, you know, get close to them, understand them. And then he found himself lusting after them. Now, another thing I found interesting is that he would say that... Um, he would always get their consent. Yet he also said that when they refuse him, when they refuse his advances, that he would um, uh, threaten to kill them or commit suicide. Mm. So uh, another interesting thing, he said that a spirit would always tell him when he feels guilty, a spirit would tell him within himself that he wouldn't be the first person to do such. So he wouldn't worry. He went on to say a lot of things. I'm like, oh my goodness, I, I, I don't get it. Now you're going to try to blame it on a spirit or what? I don't, I mean, you ladies have your take. I can't. The man is a pervert. It's as simple as that. And, and his he, daughters reported him eventually because they got tired. He, he's a pervert. And aside from that, for you to sit down and, and decide to sleep with your child, like. that means he needs some sort of mental evaluation. And he also got, ma he, he got he married a second wife. The man is sick. This is really crazy. You know, you know the funny thing about all of this, you know, every time I remember how many daughters my father has, Mm. I keep wondering when I hear some men say crappy things like this. I keep wondering, like, where is this coming from? You know, you are just a sick person. 
don't blame it on any dead body or anything because you would have been able to remarry you know because i even understand that he, he had a, a second wife yes right? he eventually got so married what again. exactly and is your still problem continued the act. Still, so, and so, there is no moral justification you are a no you oh his moral justification was lot in the but like when the daughter would complain that this is the moral he would quote lot in the bible that was he's sick he's a sick man he's so he's a sick, sick man my father had seven daughters come on where does he begin from <sighs> Mm. You know, and we are all different. I mean, we don't look alike. Everybody, different shapes, different sizes. And all you're beautiful. For, we're all beautiful. So what exactly is your problem? You are just a sick person, it's you know. Terrible. And I, don't blame it on a a, 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 a woman I, that has, I mean, has died. And, and you know, try to I, put it and say, it's I crazy. actually read somewhere that uh, based on um, psychological evaluation on conducted on a man who actually slept with his... Um, um, daughter or daughters, they said that this is born out of the need to not to allow the somebody else actually sleep with his child. I don't get God it. Forbid. So, like, you know I what? gave birth to this child for one. somebody else to actually. Please, what did you find for I us? I don't get it. <sighs> it's really sad. It's 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 painful. So in the news today, let me. I'm really trying to calm myself. This is upsetting. Please calm so down. So in the Show news today, <laughs> yes, absolutely. In the news today, it's um, um, xenophobia in South Africa. So mm -hmm. um, South Africans have started again with their xenophobia act and attack on Nigerians. I went to Twitter to you know hunt uh, and and get some news. Backstory. And, yes, and I discovered that there, there was the hashtag of Nigeria must fall. So I was wondering why would they say Nigeria must for and I discovered also that they were talking about um, um, a girl or a young man who a, a group of boys who saw a girl twerk for them and they were Nigerians and this girl is a South African so they in South Africa are actually saying that the Nigerians the Nigerians are taking advantage of the South African girls oh, come on. to buy phones so for any girl that walks up to or dances or twerks for um, South African men, they're actually getting money to buy phones. So there, the, if you saw the video earlier on, mm. there was this young man who said that, come on, this thing happens everywhere. Even in South Africa, South Africans are doing the same thing. And in the, in the cause of this whole interaction, they mm. went on to say that Nigerian lives matter. Now we are saying that blacks and blacks do not love each other, and they're saying black lives matter. But blacks are hating on uh, blacks, black. especially on yes. the African continent. Exactly. Mm -hmm. just, so the Xenophobia Act was also mm -hmm. um, conducted. Um, no, this guy, what's his name, um, Reno Mockery, mm. said this again uh, about talked about the black blacks killing blacks. blacks yeah. So and there is um, uh, what's it called uh, the um, the um, what's it called the which one. What happened in the riot or the... Yeah, the George Floyd. The one on George Floyd, okay. Black Lives Matter. Everybody's protest, talking about yeah. protest. Thank you. The protest on <sighs> Black Lives Matter. So well, where do we stand as black people? Do we truly love each other? But I think we'll need other? to quickly move on because I, I, I really have little time for my story. Okay. My story is my people, Obaseki. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so let me just come back home to my people. Obaseki um, has been, I think there has been some allegations that he's a member of the PDP. And the chairman, <laughs> the chairman of Edo State PDP has disclosed that the governor, um, Godwin Obaseki, is not, um, is not um, what's he called, a member of the PDP. However, if the people have rejected him and he chooses to come into the PDP, they are, they are ready to welcome him with open arms, but he has to go through the process because they might, they might consider some waivers for him because he's passed certain stages that he's supposed to have gone through if he was a member of the PDP to go through their own primaries. You know, what is interesting about um, Godwin Obaseki's um, story is just the too many things that are coming up on social media. And interestingly, our guest, Sheon Kuti, tweeted a video of um, because the, the allegations of his... Um, of his um, disqualification for these mm -hmm. primaries is the fact that he does not have, what's it called, um, university certification, certification or something like that. And on this, this video, this rally was when he was coming in as governor mm -hmm. into, um, what, what, what year was that? He was coming in as governor. Mm. And the same um, national chairman, that's um, Adam Shomale. So Shomale, was commending him. I don't know if we can get like two seconds of that video, the audio. Thanks including the several first generation, uh, second generation banks. When he came home to give support to me, to bring on board what I do not have, because I am not a finance man, and 
he became the chairman of our economic team. So everything he finished in secondary school. So that was I a video confirming the that, he that he went to the university. <laughs> so I'll leave it there for you guys to judge. I won't exactly. say so much. All right, so we'll take a quick break and our guest, um, Sheon Kuti, will join us right after the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.